world called world has gone through a process of homogenization one size fit all model of different entities are valued and integrated into a when i say we live in perfect harmony there is the example inclusion uh, first place an honor for me uh, to be here in the inaugural session of this the six major tribes and hundreds of tribes same biological space as any living creature has we are able to achieve what we call harmonization this is a second step when we they talk about listening to the world in last t20 it was india who listened religious conversion is almost equal to sowing the seeds of hatred ancient wisdom of vedas puranas and it has has been long guided us how do you see how do you done by them we have to give them that kind of opportunity intersex statutory authority in the any global south countries technology such therapeutics become affordable speak on the issue understanding gender issue uh, the priestess of ancient baltic religious community romova it is worthy to praise india that and preserve the concept of oneness education is very foundations upon which society grow and uh, prosper
policies to have a beautiful bite. Water, they say, is a resource, but it's a big lie. Water is a sacred element of life. A world that is becoming increasingly interconnected and diverse, it is crucial that we get the key to creating a better future for all. Dare I to compare if South Korea is my parent, India is my Guruji. Good morning, buenos dias, namaskar. So let us infect the world with oneness. Society to live in coexistence with diversity. Such an honor to participate in the concluding session of C20 Summit seminar here today in Namsa in Arunachal Pradesh. Ekam Sadvipra Bahuda Vadanti.